Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time. Call over here and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and I reckon it's time for another Working Wednesday, y'all. And, guys, what I have planned for y'all tonight, guys, is uh, if you remember a while back, I uh, I did those ribs out on the Char Griller 50-50. We did them with uh, the Kentucky Bourbon uh, barbecue sauce, and I also did some with uh, brown sugar and butter glaze to them, guys. And, I mean, I'm here to tell you they were amazing. Well, guys, I took my vacuum sealer, and I, I shrunk right those back. So we're going to serve those tonight. But along with that, guys, I'm going to cook you all up some, uh, basically, it's my mother's uh, sweet potato souffle. Uh, basically, guys, it's a casserole. Uh, souffle usually has eggs and stuff up in it, but uh, I guess we just termed it that. But anyway, guys, I'm here to tell you it's delicious, and I want to show you all how to prepare it. All right, guys, the day is done. Let's get in there and get something good to eat, And that's what I'm saying, guys. To, to make your working Wednesday meals uh, quick and simple is what I do is I'll uh, actually cook more than enough when I'm barbecuing or whatever I'm cooking. I try to cook a little bit extra, and then I actually get out my vacuum sealer, and I'll seal it back, and then I have a, a really nice, uh, tasty meal during the week that's a piece of cake to prepare. All right, guys, uh, uh, I guess a video or so back... Uh, uh, Mom made some of her sweet potato souffle, and basically it's just a casserole. Souffle is made with eggs, guys. And what I've got here, I've got it going for you already. I didn't think you wanted to watch me uh, peel everything, but uh, what we have is uh, we have uh, three sweet potatoes, large sweet potatoes that I washed and I peeled and I cubed. Along with that, I have a half a stick of butter. I have uh, four tablespoons of Splenda brown sugar, uh, one tablespoon of Madagascar bourbon, and... Uh, uh, one tablespoon of cinnamon and uh, two cups of orange juice. That's what they're cooking in the orange juice right there guys But uh, here's that's that uh, vanilla. I've been telling you all about guys. It is marvelous So what I what I'll do is I'll actually taste it once everything starts cooking down and like I said You just put a lid on it and uh, I'll let it just start cooking and I'll show it to you in just a bit Along with that we're gonna have some of this uh, pasta sides these Nors Parmesan fettuccine and spinach pasta But guys look how easy this is I'm gonna have a wonderful, next level, yummy meal together in less than an hour here, guys. And I'm here to tell you, I love me some sweet taters. All right, y'all, we're gonna get right back. All right, back guys, with I'm you. gonna cut the heat back on this a little bit. Um, guys, it's like I said, it's a piece of cake, man. We just uh, cubed up those taters, dumped in that orange juice, and I'm here to tell you, you can just smell that brown sugar and that butter and that cinnamon. I'm here to tell you, it smells, man, it smells so good. But uh, this is going to take just a little bit, and uh, we're going to get All right, right guys, back with you. we're done. We got our Norris fettuccine done here. Our sweet potatoes have came up, and I mean they're rich and delicious and bubbling. I went ahead and I got my uh, rolls in the oven, and what I did was I heated up my uh, my ribs here uh, all the way through. And basically what I did was I made like a little concoction here, guys. And basically this is like four pats of butter, four tablespoons of brown sugar, and some orange juice, guys. I'm sure this is going to be marvelous. I'm going to go ahead and get that up on our ribs. And I'll reserve some for the table. All right, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take our sweet taters here. And yes, they look marvelous. I'm going to go ahead and get these on down up in here, like so. And I'm simply going to mash them. All right, guys, take a peek. We got our working Wednesday meal over to the table, and I think it looks marvelous. Guys, look at them ribs. I got that little coated up with my little uh, orange juice and brown sugar and butter concoction there. And uh, check out uh, the uh, sweet potato souffle, guys. And that was so easy, guys. That's just some orange juice, brown sugar, butter, and cinnamon, and sweet taters, guys. That's all there is to it. And there's our little bit of uh, fettuccine we got right there and some rolls. Guys, I got to get after this. I've been wanting ribs all day long. All right, guys, check that plate of goodness out. Look at them ribs. Oh, my goodness. And I got that sweet tater souffle, but basically it's really a casserole. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit more of my, my little concoction here. Do a little drizzle. Do a little drizzly D. Diddly 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 D. Alright guys, look at there, look at there. It's time to get busy. Hold on one Alright mom, how is it? Oh that tastes like he just cooked it. Oh my goodness. Oh I love it. You never know these are frozen. 
<laughs> That's what's so great about that shrink wrapper. Look at this guy. Mm, look at that. Mm. God. And that sauce I made up. That is killer. Mmm. I think I might be on to something, y'all. Good gravy. This is good. Alright, guys. We gotta get into mom's souffle here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add the pecans. Hold on, guys. Gotta have some pecans, y'all. Come on. Take the next level. There's some right there, Mom, if you want. Alright, guys, take a peek at that. Mm -mm. This is pure ambrosia right here, y'all. Ain't that right, boy? You tell them. Mm. I actually think I could take and put this in a pie shell, and it would make a killer pie. With just that Splenda uh, brown sugar. Nothing extra. Alright, boy, that's enough. Mmm. Pure ambrosia. Mmm. I'm here to tell you, man, this working Wednesday is marvelous. Mmm. <laughs> Give me a little bit of my uh, fettuccine Alfredo or whatever this is called. Pasta, spinach, or something. Mm, I love Nord stuff. I actually got a good recipe I'm getting ready to make for y'all with this. It should be outstanding. Mm. Look at this, guys. All this together in less than an hour. It took me about 45 minutes with the potatoes. Mmm. And that's what I'm saying with the potatoes too. It's basically just uh, throw everything in the pot and start boiling and then turn the heat back a little bit and then uh, grab it out and mash it. Nothing to it, guys. Nothing to it. And I'm here to tell you it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Check his bone out. Look at that. Mm. Nice and tender. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, God, I'm here to tell you, this is a wonderful working Wednesday. And, uh, I can't thank y'all enough for all the positive feedback y'all are giving me on my little series here. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all stopping by to visit with me. And uh, I guess we're going to keep running with the ball, y'all. I got another working Wednesday in mind for y'all. So I reckon we're going to see y'all coming this Sunday. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you so very, very much. And I reckon we'll holler at y'all soon. Take care. Bye.